Welcome to Lines to Go installation videos. Today we will be removing and installing transmission lines on a 2014 GMC Sierra using Lines to Go part number TCL 171 SS. While this particular installation is on a 2014 GMC Sierra, this set of lines will also work on the following year, make, and models as shown on your screen now. Lines to go lines are made using original equipment and forms and fittings that are CNC bent for an easy and precise installation. We have also upgraded to stainless steel braided Teflon hoses for rust protection and to prevent surface fouling. These have an unlimited shelf life and anti-static PTFE liner. This set of lines to go lines are made using 304L stainless steel for rust resistance that exceeds OEM standards. Tech tip. Disconnect the battery before working on a vehicle to reduce the risk of shorting out the battery on tools or lines. Lines to go lines are made with a sectional design for easier installation. We also use color coded unions on our sectioned lines. Just match the colors at the connections. Tools required 7mm, 10mm, 13mm, and 22mm sockets and ratchet, T15 bit or screwdriver, flat blade and Phillips screwdriver. 3 8 of an inch transmission line disconnect tool, lines to go part number 5834-01, pliers, drain pan, jack and jack stands. The level of difficulty for this installation is considered to be easy. Start by disconnecting the battery using a 10 millimeter socket. Remove the plastic push clip securing the plastic upper cover using a flat blade screwdriver. Remove the plastic upper cover. At the driver's side top of the radiator use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the plastic ring from the fitting. Remove the line from the quick connect fitting using the lines to go quick disconnect tool. At the other end of the line connected to the auxiliary cooler remove the plastic ring from the fitting. Remove the line from the quick connect fitting using the disconnect tool. Remove the line from the vehicle. Next, remove the electrical connector from the mass airflow sensor located in the air filter housing. Use a flat blade screwdriver to loosen the clamp securing the intake tube. Remove the intake tube and lift up on the air filter housing to remove it from the vehicle. At the passenger side of the radiator, use the lines to go disconnect tool to remove the steel line from the aluminum jumper line. Next, raise and support the vehicle and use a 22mm socket to remove the left front wheel. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the four screws securing the left front mud flap. Next we will need to remove the fender trim. Use a 7mm socket to remove the bolt at the front, a T15 bit to remove the screws at the top and rear of the fender, use a 13mm socket to remove the bolt at the bottom rear of the fender. Carefully remove the fender trim. If any of the plastic mounting clips stay in the vehicle, use a flat blade screwdriver to remove them and then install them back into the plastic fender trim. Use a T15 bit to remove all of the screws securing the inner fender and remove it from the vehicle.
Next, use a 13 millimeter socket to remove the two forward bolts securing the plastic lower cover. Use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the remaining four bolts and remove the plastic lower cover from the vehicle. At the driver's side bottom of the radiator, remove the plastic ring from the quick connect fitting and remove the line using the disconnect tool. Underneath the vehicle, use a flat blade screwdriver to remove both lines from the plastic brackets. On the driver's side of the transmission, remove both lines from the thermal bypass valve using the lines to go quick disconnect tool. Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the lines from the plastic brackets located behind the engine along with the metal clip at the passenger side of the engine. Pull down the front section of both lines and then remove both lines from the vehicle. To begin the installation of your new stainless steel lines to go transmission lines, start by installing the line labeled A2 into position. Install the line into the quick connect fitting located on the driver's side of the auxiliary cooler and secure the plastic cover. Connect the other end of the line into the fitting at the driver's side top of the radiator and secure the plastic cover. Next, install the line labeled A1 into position. Connect the rear of the line into the top quick connect fitting located in the thermal bypass valve and make sure it is fully seated. Install the plastic ring over the connection. Route the front of the line up into position. Connect the line into the lower quick connect fitting on the driver's side of the radiator. Install the plastic ring over the fitting. Next, install the lines to go line labeled B into position. Connect the rear of the line into the bottom quick connect fitting in the thermal bypass valve and install the plastic ring. Secure the line into the two plastic clips at the rear along with the metal clip beside the engine. Route the front of the line up into position. Connect the front of the line into the aluminum jumper line and replace the plastic ring. Secure both lines at the front using the plastic clip. Next, replace the lower plastic cover using a 10 millimeter socket to replace the four bolts at the rear and a 13 millimeter socket to replace the two bolts at the front. Install the plastic upper cover into position and secure it using the plastic push clips. Next, replace the left front inner fender and secure it using a T15 bit. Install the fender trim back into place. Secure the front bolt using a 7mm socket. Use the T15 bit to replace the bolts at the top and the rear. and use a 13mm socket to secure the bolt at the bottom rear. 
Replace the mud flap and secure it using a Phillips screwdriver. Next, replace the left front wheel and torque to spec using a 22mm socket. Install the air filter housing back into position and replace the intake tube. Tighten the clamp on the intake tube using a flat blade screwdriver. Replace the mass airflow electrical connector. Reconnect the battery using a 10mm socket. With the vehicle running on a flat level surface, check the transmission fluid level and top it up as required. This concludes the installation of stainless steel transmission lines on a 2014 Sierra using lines to go part number TCL-171-SS. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase the lines you saw today, please call us at 1-855-781-5992, email us at info at linestogo.com, or check out our website link below. And don't forget to take advantage of our free two-day shipping. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below and we will see you on our next video.